We're going to cover if chilling rain is a good investment, bad investment, or somewhere in between. Let's get started. Hello, beautiful people. Captain Zach Sparrow here. So, you want to know, is chilling rain investable or not? That's a pretty good question. It's coming out soon or it already came out, depending on when I upload this video. I haven't just decided uh, just yet justly. So the Pokemon card market, and it's not just in Pokemon, but we're talking about Pokemon. So the card market crashed recently in some areas much harder than others. That's something that's relevant for this discussion, and it will affect the performance of Chilling Rain. Will it affect it in the short term? Yes, definitely. Will it affect it long term? That's the question, and ultimately, no. Here's why. Again, I know we say this all the time, past performance isn't indicative of future results. What you have to keep in mind is just because things have dipped in the past doesn't necessarily dictate what will happen in the future, especially with a set such as this. Now, by definition, chilling rain, the market for it is speculative. There's not a market for it yet on the English side of things. It hasn't come out yet officially. So all of these numbers, they're artificial. It's key, guys, I'm telling you, every time you look at a new set, or any set for that matter, you have to ask yourself, what is the organic, the organic demand of that product, of that set, series, card, whatever it is? What is the organic demand of that? And I'm not talking about speculation. What is the speculation? What is the current artificial market for these cards for this set? What is the organic demand? How many people are talking about it? How many people are making excited YouTube videos about it, wondering what the price is going to be on it? And then one thing to kind of implement would be trust your gut. Are you excited about this set? Were you personally, be honest, were you personally jazzed about battle styles? To be completely honest, I wasn't. And I feel like in the back of my biased mind, I artificially hyped myself up to get into it and that was a mistake so a couple of things that you could ask yourself for this would be uh, I, I like to analyze a couple of things i like to keep it on simple terms on a simple scale so for example will someone take umbrage to the fact that the set is merely in existence will someone be a quiver with excitement knowing that these cards haven't been done before in this way they really like this set for example if I'm not wrong, it, please correct me if I'm wrong. I believe there are 38 full art slash alternate arts in the normal version of the set on the English side. And then there, so there are 38 of those and there are 34 hyper rares, secret rares, 34. I'm not trying to bias you right now, but this set is loaded. <laughs> it is loaded to the gills. People are over excited for this set. I am personally expecting this to be one of Sword and Shield's best sets. You heard it here first. I don't think that's groundbreaking news. That's something to keep in mind for a particular set. Now, something that everyone is going to say, but yes, is this going to be printed to the moon or this definitely is going to be printed to the moon? Every new set that we're going to have from here on out until Pokemon printing really gets ramped up is in risk of that. And I think that these, the current modern sets, like most of Sword and Shield, is in that danger slash overprinting stage. That does not mean that this particular set will not hold value though. Look at any past set that was overprinted. <coughs> Evolutions. <laughs> I know I'm going to get someone's jimmies in the tussle, but I had to say it. So just ask yourself, is this set being, if the set is printed to the moon, if this set is overprinted, will the value not rise? It could definitely stifle growth. It could definitely stunt the growth. I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy. Yes, the growth could be stunted. Definitely. It, it can definitely be stunted but that doesn't make it a bad investment long-term. For example, you might say, oh, well, four years from now, I could get a better investment having my money parked on something else. You totally could. But 10 years from now, if you compare Chilling Rain to, let's say, Battle Styles, in the next few years, let's just say it, four years from now, Battle Styles performs a little bit better just because the demand for Chilling Rain was so sky-high the Pokemon company printed more Chilling Rain than they did 
battle styles objectively. They literally printed more. Not saying that will happen or should happen or I think it's probable that it'll, that will happen. I have no idea. But what I do know is even if they print Chilling Rain more because, quite frankly, it's it's just a better set. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much it's printed. Again, demand will dictate what the price will be on these items moving forward. It doesn't matter how much they print unless they continually reprint this product for years, literally years, five years, seven years from now. Statistically, the Pokemon company has not done that. I wouldn't expect that moving forward, meaning this is going to be a fantastic investment. Boom, got the stamp of approval for me. Everyone is so afraid to put out their opinion out there and say, you know what? This set's gonna do great. I'm gonna stick my neck out there. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I feel really strong. I'm very bullish on this set. And I've been getting some comments lately on Discord and on YouTube now of people saying, hey bud, there are so many other people. How many other people do you think are hoarding product just like you are? You're not the only one to be thinking of this idea. Of course I'm not the only one thinking of this idea, but that doesn't make it a bad idea. Just because someone else knows that you can make money in the stock market doesn't mean that I should invest in the stock market because I'll be I'll have a, a less return on my investment because someone else is doing that. Here's another way I like to look at it. Every set that's out right now, every vintage set, every old set, every classic set, every single set was brand new at some point. You don't think any set before now, people at one point thought, hmm, you know what? It might actually be good if I hold on to a couple ETBs or a case or a few cases or a pallet of cases, whatever that number is. You don't think at any point people were thinking that? Well, no, they weren't thinking that to the degree that they're thinking that today. Yes, but guess what? The demand has two to three times increased according to Poga Beach. Again, we can't use those as solid numbers, However, the traffic on Poke Beach's site, they said, grew about two to three X compared to the previous year. So that gives us at least some indication of the boom that we have had. That means that that demand, that organic demand of people physically opening packs and boxes also exponentially grew, meaning, yes, the individual collectors and investors, those certainly grew. However, so did the demand in people opening them as well. So I don't, I don't put any weight in the fact that, hey, there are more people holding sealed product now than ever. That doesn't matter. That's totally irrelevant. What do I know? I'm a watched up broker though. Just because something is ubiquitous, like chilling rain will probably be, does not mean that it's a bad investment by nature, by definition. In fact, that's the antithesis of a healthy market, a healthy investment but what do i know i'm telling you right now you i i don't want to come across rude on this people think way way too small when it comes to these numbers you don't understand the buying power that people have example i think so a lot of you have probably heard of it and if not you're hearing it now there was a kid on twitter who bought i think it was like 700 shining fates etbs Looked like he was a teenager, or early 20s. I'm just saying that is one person. Do you know how many LGSs he would have bought out? That is one human being, one, one kid. Could you imagine what a couple of millionaires could do? I am just saying you don't understand the buying power that people have. Don't even worry about overprinting. Yes, it is an issue in the short term. Long term, if you're going to be investing in this products, don't worry about it. So here's a fun question for you. What is the card you are most looking forward to in Chilling Rain? I'm going to be a sucker. I'm going to say, I think it's the gold shiny Snorlax. I think that card's a stud. But let me know what you think. Most importantly, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified of future videos just like this one. And until next time... What did photographer Pikachu say to Charizard? Can I get a Pikachu with you? I, that was the best I had.